I'm using my closure editor with a simple project to find the most common word from a book. The book is The Importance of Being Earnest from Project Gutenberg, and I'm selecting the book from the website, which returns a single string of the entire book text. This string is a value bound to a name called Importance of Being Earnest, so we can refer to it easily throughout the code. We want to eliminate the common English words, otherwise the words such as a, the, to may be the most common word. Slurp is used again to get the common English words from a text file, which is in CSV format. We use split to create individual words and put everything into a set to remove any duplicate words as the set enclosure contains unique values. A function is defined to get the most common word, although most of the code is commented so we can explore what each of the expressions do. The function is called, passing a, the book as an argument. The book is passed into the reseq function, which applies a regular expression to create individual words from the book text. Here we're using the threading macro, which places the book as the last argument for the reseq expression. And the result of the reseq will go into the map expression below and so on. Let's call this function, see what it does. And this is returned the individual words as strings inside a list. All our common English words are in lowercase, so I transform all the words in the book to match. So all the individual words are now in lowercase. Now we can remove all the common English words. And you can see the has disappeared from the start. Frequencies will create a new data structure with a count for each book. It's created a new data structure, which is a hash map with the words as the keys and the frequencies that the word appears as the value. The map is unsorted, so we can sort by the value. And we can see now that each of the words are in the value order. Unfortunately, this is showing us the words with the smallest frequency. So we can simply reverse to get the information that we wanted. And now we can see that the characters in the book are the most common words, which shouldn't really be surprising. This shows how simple it is to transform and experiment with data and get feedback in the REPL directly.